believe a 15-year-old kid was working for the federal government? But he was. It was the stuff of movies made for a story on the big screen. It was like he was a rock star, and he wasn't. Here they were using a child as an underage informant. Only for Rick Worshey Jr., who started helping the FBI at just 14, it was anything but a Hollywood ending. He was in possession of over 650 grams of cocaine, mandatory life. A sentence later ruled unconstitutional, but Worshey remained locked up. Many in law enforcement have pushed for his release over the years, like former FBI agent Greg Schwartz. He's contributed greatly to law enforcement. I, I challenge anybody to tell me one prisoner who has contributed more to law enforcement than this man. Many involved in the operation at the time say Worshi took the fall once the feds no longer had any use for him. And some experts say Worshi's own attorneys threw the original trial in order to protect bigger drug players. It was a sham. It's even alleged the teenager was a threat because he knew too much about local corruption, including dirt on former Mayor Coleman Young's family. In 2017, after many failed attempts, the parole board finally granted Worshi's release in Michigan. He was uh, kind of emotional about it. Now, after more than 30 years, some say as a political prisoner, Rick Worshi Jr. will walk free. Worshi's attorney has previously told Action News that he's already received calls of interest about offering Worshi a job. He is now a father and a grandfather and has a fiance here in the Metro Detroit area. Again, he's expected to leave that Florida halfway house at some point today. We'll have much more on this coming up later this afternoon on 7 Action News. We're live this morning in downtown Detroit. Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.